Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Curse of Oak Island. A giant underground void suggests possible chamber under the garden shaft. The Curse of Oak Island guys have enlisted the help of a team of miners as they encounter a large void in the money pit area near the garden shaft. They hope the void contains a secret chamber. On last night's episode, the guys focused pretty much all their attention on the garden shaft. This searcher shaft, discovered in 2017, was initially abandoned after the team felt it wasn't of much interest. However, Things have changed dramatically in the first three episodes of Season 10. The discovery of a tunnel in the Money Pit area at 108 feet that appeared to be heading in the direction of the garden shaft, coupled with the high content of gold in the water samples around the shaft, all means that the team has decided to examine what's under there. The guys commenced drilling at the not-so-punchily named borehole, a 5N13.5, and it didn't take them long to hit a massive void. At just 55 feet, the drill plunged into a gigantic 10-foot void. The team immediately speculated that they might have hit an offset chamber. This theory was reinforced when bubbles began surfacing in the pond above the garden shaft, indicating that air was being forced to the surface. This likely means there's a void or chamber underground. Marty Lagino suspects treasure is hidden in an offset chamber. The existence of an offset or secret chamber that contains hidden treasure has always been one of Marty Lagino's favorite theories. Marty thinks it likely that the original treasure depositors created a fake money pit, or as he referred to it last night, an illusion hole, only hide the loot in a side slash offset chamber. Either way, the guys need to find out what's going on down there, and thankfully, Doug Crowell has a plan. He enlisted the help of a mining company, Dumas Contracting Moot, who gave a presentation to the fellowship in the war room. Oak Island team will be able to examine money pit area from underground. The guys from Dumas outlined an ambitious plan to excavate the original garden shaft down to approximately 75 feet. They would then reconstruct the shaft, making it safe for the Lagina brothers and the rest of the fellowship to go down and have a look. And the Dumas folks claimed they only needed 50 days to do this. The guys were thrilled at the prospect as it would be the first time that they could actually go underground and explore the money pit area for themselves. Marty asked the miners about the possibility of further excavation outward of the shaft. And excitingly, he was told that Dumas could tunnel in any direction and any elevation that they wished. This is a great moment to be a fan of Oak Island as season 10 is increasingly showing that the guys are willing to use any resource and technology available to get to the bottom of the 227-year-old mystery. The twilight of another cold Nova Scotian day faded as the silhouettes of Rick and Marty Lagina stood resolute against the dimming sky. The brothers, driven by a relentless curiosity, had faced Oak Island's enigmatic grip for years, each discovery pulling them deeper into its cryptic embrace. But today, a new revelation promised to unlock secrets buried beneath centuries of whispers and legends. Their focus was the garden shaft, a structure that had defied time and nature, holding within its depths the silent echoes of those who came before. Countless theories and wild speculations had swirled around this elusive shaft, suggesting everything from pirate hordes to Templar treasure. Yet, the latest scans hinted at something even more tantalizing. A giant underground void, potentially an ancient chamber waiting to reveal its secrets. As dawn broke, the team assembled at the shaft. A sense of excitement tempered by the ever-present caution Oak Island demanded. The air was thick with anticipation, every sound magnified in the early morning stillness. Marty, ever the pragmatist, surveyed the site, his mind racing with possibilities and contingencies. Rick, the heart and soul of the expedition, felt a deeper connection, 
sensing the weight of history pressing down upon them. Charles Barkhouse, their trusted historian, was already immersed in old maps and documents, cross-referencing the latest findings. If this void is what we think it is, he mused, it could be a game-changer. We're not just looking for treasure. We're deciphering a riddle centuries in the making. The drilling rig roared to life, a mechanical beast ready to breach the Earth's secrets. The ground trembled as the drill bit chewed through layers of soil and rock, each rotation peeling back the ears. The teen watched in hushed awe, their thoughts a mixture of hope and trepidation. Hours turned into a tense vigil, the drill inching closer to the anticipated void. Marty's practical mind worked through scenarios, planning for every contingency, while Rick's thoughts wandered to the island's story past. He imagined the explorers, treasure hunters, and secret societies that had once walked these very grounds, their dreams and fears now intertwined with his own. Suddenly, the drill hit an air pocket. The machinery groaned, then east, signaling the breakthrough. The void was real. Excitement surged through the team, tempered by the knowledge that the hardest part was yet to come. With the shaft stabilized, it was time to send down the camera. The small, resilient device descended into the darkness, its lights piercing the ancient gloom. The team huddled around the monitor, eyes wide with anticipation. The screen flickered, then revealed a cavernous space, walls lined with what appeared to be man-made structures. Gasps of awe filled the air. It's not just a void, Rick said, his voice a mixture of wonder and disbelief. It's a chamber, an actual chamber. Marty's analytical mind raced. We need to get a closer look. There could be artifacts, clues, anything that can tell us who built this and why. The team prepared a small, agile rover to explore the chamber. It descended slowly, the camera transmitting real-time images of the subterranean world. The chamber was vast, with intricate carvings on the walls, hinting at a purpose beyond mere storage. In one corner, something glinted, a metallic object half-buried in the dirt. Rick's heart pounded. What is that? He asked, leaning closer to the monitor. The rover maneuvered carefully, its robotic arm extending to uncover the object. It was a chest, ornately decorated, its craftsmanship suggesting it was no ordinary container. The team held their breath as the rover gently pried it open. Inside were documents, their edges frayed with age but still legible. Charles deciphered the faded script. These are records, he said, his voice tinged with excitement. Records of those who built this chamber. There are names, dates, and coordinates. The revelation hit like a bolt of lightning. This chamber wasn't just a storage site. It was a record-keeping room, meticulously documenting the island's hidden history. The coordinates hinted at other locations, other secrets yet to be uncovered. Rick and Marty exchanged glances, a silent agreement passing between them. This was it the breakthrough they'd been seeking. The chamber under the garden shaft was a gateway to understanding the true purpose of Oak Island. As they meticulously cataloged the documents and artifacts, the team felt a renewed sense of purpose. Each discovery was a piece of the puzzle, guiding them toward the ultimate truth. The garden shaft, once just another enigmatic feature of Oak Island, had become the key to unlocking its greatest mysteries. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over the island. The Lagina brothers stood at the edge of the shaft, gazing into the darkness.